using overlays to teach the blind the iPad laid out. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create overlays to help the blind student understand the iPad laid out. Since layouts um, change in the iPad depending where you are viewing, the blind person will benefit from forming a mental image of the different layouts presented in the iPad. First, I will show you the materials you need to create your layouts. Um, you need a rubber pad or padded surface like this one or also you could use a piece of foamy or a piece of leather something soft you also need sharp tools or line drawing tools the ones that we use for graphics for the blind a tracing wheel to make dotted lines copies of screenshots of different layouts that you want to teach your students and also a permanent market if you want to label your overlays you can use a slate and a stylus to braille labels on them so first you need to place your rubber pad a copy of the screenshot over and a clear clean film on top you are going to use your marker to trace over every detail that you want to show your student in your overlay. Make sure to always make the home button because that's the one that they're gonna put uh, on the right side to locate with in which direction to play the overlay. When you finish copying all of these, it will look like this one you remove your copy and then you're going to work on the lines if this is the right position you're gonna turn over you are going to use your tools to make race lines make sure to press firmly so you can make the lines to show it on the other side and with the sharp you can make different type of lines details such as buttons to show number of pages of the screens this line to show the dock where it's divided and of course the outside of the screen When you finish that one, you can think about different kind of overlays to show, for example, how an email shows in the screen. With this one, we will teach the one third and two thirds of the screen so the student understand that the main information could be on the left or on the right, depending on where you are. The settings screen is very important. They have to go to settings a lot. So they need to understand this is the overlay and this is the real copy. They need to understand one third, two thirds of the screen again. Teaching them containers and headings and all of the details this one is the google the um, safari google 
probably you cannot see this one, but um, I had made some braille letters to label Google and then a word in the search bar and then a little letter here for the search button. Each of these have different type of lines for the student to know how to navigate and jump from one to the other one. After I explain the layouts to my students, they really seem to be doing much better and to know where they are at. So I have demonstrated how you can create overlays and using race lines for the student to understand how to navigate. And that's it for now. Thank you.